Lucas Media. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, y'all. So Marcellus Wiley's accused of grape as in fu- as in a fruit. Why he was a he was at Columbia University. Now a woman's came out and said that he has he's like well I guess graped her and she was a virgin. Basically saying he forced himself upon her and a bunch of different allegations. Now Marcellus has actually clapped back. He's responded. Uh, he did go out to say that you know he don't work for ESPN or Fox Sports, so he can he don't have to be silent. And he broke down his version of it. Let me play a little bit of what he said. Was me picking up some food and me going over to her dorm. Now invited, of course. And for those who have any doubts, any skepticism, I will walk you through every step. So at Columbia, uh, again, this is him speaking about the. the dorms. Let me pause that. This is him speaking about what happened. Co-ed, at least most of them. At least my dorms were. Her dorm was. So with a co-ed dorm, uh, I think some of the security measures that they had was you got to check in with your ID. So she lived in one of the dorms. You had to check in with your ID. I remember going to get some food and coming over. I think it was Ollie's right there on the corner. Uh, people remember that. It's going now. And I left uh, my ID at the front desk. She had to come down to sign me in. Now, a lot of times at dorms, you got to sign in. It was even like that, Illinois. You got to sign in at at the dorm. So he's basically saying, well, number one, she signed me in. Let me keep playing it. That was the rule. You, so your guest comes, you go downstairs and sign them in and check them out. That's the rule. So I leave my ID, my Columbia ID. She brings me upstairs. Um, not to get into those details, because frankly, there are really not that many details in that respect, but I will cover this. Um, we did not engage in intercourse. All right, so he he so he's already denying that there was no intercourse, and that's what she's saying. The accuser and her allegations. All right, let me keep playing. Um, at the time, I knew she had a boyfriend, and at the time oh. there, she told me she was a virgin. My mom. See, so we already got something in question. She got a boyfriend allegedly at this time. Let me keep going. And immediately goes to this place. By the end of this video... Oh, my bad, John. Hold on. This one where you need to sign somebody out and all that kind of stuff, right? Remember? Sign in, sign up. So she has to go downstairs with me. And she does. Goes downstairs, signs me out, all on camera. I don't know where the footage is 30 years later, but all on camera. And gives me a kiss and told me to call her. Now, remember, this is a different type of calling then. This is like, all right, call me and make sure we talk on the phone. And it's a lot of like, you ain't in the room or you at practice and that and that. For like two two weeks it went on. She, I remember she gave me a hug, a kiss, and she said, give her a call. About two weeks goes by and no calls. Like, we didn't. So, okay, so so let me break that down. So, again, she's saying he forced himself on me. But Marcellus is saying, okay, wait a minute. You walked down there. And signed me out and gave me a kiss. And y'all going, we go to Columbia. It's not like we go to some small college that don't nobody care about. We're talking about one of the most prestigious universities in the world. Let me keep going. Connect, basically. I may have called her. I'm not sure. Can't lie to you. Uh, But I certainly didn't reach her. Then I get her. My boy stops me. Gives me a heads up. Hey, man, girl around here talking trash about you. What'd she say? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, oh, my God. Now, immediately I start to think, why? Because I haven't called her or talked to her in the last two weeks. No, that can't be it. Oh, she had a boyfriend. Oh, let me stop right there. So, the fellas, you know what I'm talking about. This, this, yeah. People got boyfriends and all of that. People switch it up real quick. Let me just skip to the part where he said that the dean did an investigation on it. Give me one second, Joe. Trying to make it. All right. So, I, I saw in the report that the deans got involved. And I didn't have a formal hearing about this, ever. But I do remember 
reading and knowing that the dean, and she's talking about Dean McDermott, said that her report didn't sound like assault. Let's just say that. BS. All right, so it went up to the dean. The dean heard the story, and the dean sided with Marcellus on this. Give me one second. Let me let me play his final thoughts about it. Um, I also know that I'm obligated to do this because I did step in it. I messed with somebody who had a boyfriend who I knew wasn't my best friend, <laughs> who I knew who didn't like me. So once he caught wind of it, Let's just assume that the story couldn't be as convenient as, oh, I invited Marcellus Wiley over for the night. He spent the night. Uh, we messed around. Um, I walked him out. I checked him out. And I never complained in that moment to the police, to the campus police, to anybody in the dorms. No one in the dorms made a complaint. Paper thin walls. All this is caught on camera, etc. So. I am guilty of that. So guess what? Some of this I asked for. Some of this I brought on myself. That's why, you know. And you know, all the fellas out there, even the sisters that be listening, y'all know, it'd have been times you'd have been younger and somebody had been in a relationship, even older, honestly, but younger or older, somebody in a relationship and you creeping with that person on the low. So that's what Marcellus is saying. He's saying basically, you know, if I'm guilty of anything, it's that part. But the other stuff is innocent. Let me go to finish the rest of it. You read them old books, them old holy books. They start talking about infidelity, stuff like that. Maybe she didn't tell her homegirls at that time. She didn't feel the shame walking me out and checking me out and making sure I had my ID and everything was good and goodbye kisses. She only felt shame when she knew there was no future with me, which she knew from hello. I don't know. The realization must have hurt, hurt more than the thought. And then to save face, she waits for a new act in New York state law to wait two days before that act expires to make these accusations. Interesting. Right, I'm just going to stop it right there. Let me unpack some of what Marcella said. Yeah. It. I mean, how I say this on YouTube. So it's crazy that when, when Diddy settles with Cassie, all of a sudden now you see all these different accusations come out. On, on everybody really and as as she said she's trying to come out with ever as marcella said she's coming out with she's trying to come out with him two days before the law changes but if diddy were to sell a cassie would anybody be me saying stuff like this something ain't right i mean it's open season it really is it, it seems like everybody trying to get a bag is there probably some truth in some allegations sure but all everything ain't ain't true, and this is unfortunate times that we in. You know, it didn't. But but if I break down, why you know why? Let me say this: if somebody were to break down, okay, well, why didn't you say nothing then when you was at Columbia? If if these allegations were true, right? Like right there on the spot, why why didn't you call campus police and? All of that. People say, oh, well, they people make excuses for that. And even if you say, okay, well, why you wait 30 years all of a sudden? We didn't change 12, several different administrations and we didn't have wards and everything. And now you coming out with this when you see somebody get a bag. When you say stuff like that, then people be looking at us like we the bad guys. But I'm glad that Marcella said something. A lot of times you can't, but he clapped back. And, you know, no, ain't nobody going to bully nobody either in the comments because, you know, it, it, this is being talked all openly. But, I mean, hey, fellas, man, you got to be careful, man. We we in different times. They, they'll they even say some stuff that happened in 1950, even if it was when, it, when it's consensual. What, this is crazy time. This It's one thing if somebody take advantage of you, right? No, nobody's with nobody agrees with that but it's another thing when people now are just you feeling guilty because you have regrettable uh, interactions with somebody you know and that doesn't lead to charges it shouldn't lead to charges let me say that 
But that's just my quick opinion. Um, I'm like I said, Marcellus Clapback. What y'all what y'all think about everything?